Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 9th, 2021. Well, my goodness, a little bit of selling pressure here, but yet we still have the big techs doing the majority of the lifting. I gotta tell you guys, I have never seen or maybe I have seen and just haven't recognized it, such a remarkable imbalance in the market where we have just a select few stocks capable of lifting or holding these markets up with so many stocks below their 200 day moving average. It's pretty darn remarkable. How much longer that can continue, I don't know. But keep your fingers crossed because if the big tech giants start to sell off, this could get ugly really fast. So how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Hopefully my voice is a little bit better today. I seem to have those allergies somewhat under control today. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. As you guys know, I've been marking out this trend right through here. And yesterday we kind of did some damage, a uh, little bit of technical damage here in the Dow chart. Notice we, we do have this lower high and we have pushed down below this support level in the chart. We are, however, we closed yesterday, just kind of hanging right onto that 50 day moving average. And you may want to notice this morning that we could be gapping down below that 50 day moving average. And there are some other events coming our way that could cause us some trouble there as well. Um, it could get better, it could get worse um, this morning as these news events come out. So we do have some technical damage showing up here on the diamonds chart. And I think the question has to be asked, will we find enough in the data today for those bulls to defend? And we've defended this area before, clearly. Will we find enough energy for those bulls to defend that 50 day moving average today? Or will the bears find some ins inspiration to um, continue their attack? Watch that closely here today. Let's take a look at the spy. Now SPY has had a little teeny tiny pullback, but overall there's really no damage here in the SPY. And that's really because so many of the big techs tech giants are also included in the SPY. As a matter of fact, the tech giants in the SPY encompass a massive weighting, about nine companies doing the majority of the lifting here in the market, while everything else seems to be struggling a bit. Now, if we draw a trend up through here, notice that we're nowhere near um, failing through that trend, and we still have a support level right here that we're kind of holding on to. Um, at the end of the day, yesterday, we had bounced up off of there. We have a little bit of additional support, maybe just a little teeny tiny bit right in there if those bears uh, decide to push an attack. Um, but keep in mind, a more substantial support is quite a little bit lower here in that chart, and that would challenge that trend if we were to drop through into that area. So watch that closely, just a little bit of ugliness here in the market, but the SPY doing a pretty good job of holding up based on those big techs. If we take a look at the QQQ, well, the QQQ, you can barely tell that this thing has moved. We had a little bit of selling yesterday early in the big tech. You notice those tech giants um, drifted just a little bit, but boy, we recovered that as quickly um, as it started. So we're still holding in this consolidating um, range here um, with tech. And we have slipped past this side of the trend. And let's keep in mind that it's a pretty severe drop to the next support level if we were to fall into that. And the bigger support level is quite a little bit lower. So if tech really does 
uh, can continue, or can, if the Bulls can, can continue to support these big tech giants and continue to drive more funds into that to hold them up, this imbalance can definitely continue. However, if they were to stumble here in any way, shape, or form, you could imagine just how quickly these indexes could fall if the tech giants kind of lose some of that um, support. So watch that closely. And then let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is kind of on a knife's edge here. Um, we've got um, an oil number coming out, uh, um, uh, oil status report coming out today, a petroleum status report. And petroleum status is, as uh, the declines in supplies has been helping IWM um, recover and hold up here. But we still have some, some issues that we have to deal with. Notice the sell-off yesterday, we pushed back. We kind of tested this level of support in here this morning. It looks like we could drop through that little bit of level of support. Um, we are, however, still holding above our 50-day moving average. So again, the question is, will we defend this 50-day moving average? And will that oil sector number uh, provide that buoyancy here for this to continue to hold? Notice we still have this downtrend in play. And as a matter of fact, we failed right there, um, almost to the tick at that downtrend. And we still have lots of overhead resistance uh, for IWM to deal with. So a little bit on the knife's edge in whether or not we're going to hold in around this 50-day moving average hold in that support or if we're going to start drifting lower here could depend on that petroleum status number today so watch closely then let's take a look at our VIX our VIX interestingly enough rallied pretty strongly yesterday um, as tech started to sell off but notice at the end of the day with that buoyancy coming into the market and uh, big tech rallying back up, we managed to pull that back. So let's take a look at this. We're still above our 50-day moving average here um, in um, in the VIX, but we haven't breached that big resistance level that I've been talking about here for a long, long time. Up there around that 20 level where we have all of this price support and resistance identifying that 20 area as critical. So we still have this little rising low in here. So we do have to pay attention. We have to be a little bit concerned. This little short term downtrend that we see right or trend right here, we have pushed above that little trend. See these highs in here where we tick up in this area. Um, we did break that, but we're trying to pull that back. And we still have a long ways to go before we breach this trend here. So a little bit of back and forth, maybe a little bit of concern. There is that uncertainty out there. And numbers this morning could be very telling as to which way we go from here. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 would give just a little bit of edge maybe to the bears this morning. We see those futures pushing down just a little bit. We saw China um, um, pushing on some, uh, well, their regulations on gaming. And that really sent the Hong Kong market sharply lower um, last night. So we have this little bit of pressure that's in the market and we still have a significant space here where those bears, if they find the inspiration, they could continue to push this down into that bullish reversal zone. So we haven't quite made it down there yet. And What's been interesting is there really hasn't been any panic in this sell-off. Um, it's been relatively controlled. So if those bulls can find some inspiration in this data today, there is that possibility that we bounce up off of here and we have opened a pretty good upside opportunity if we can push through. And with the QQQ really within striking distance of new record highs, if we can get that bullish move, uh, be no reason why we couldn't see some new record highs here in the market. If those seven to nine big techs can continue to do the majority of the work. Um, so watch that closely. Then let's take a look at our T2107. And this is what I was talking about, that stark 
stark um, imbalance here in the market. Notice this is the percentage of stocks above the 200 day moving average. And we are only 47% of our stocks that are holding above their 200 day moving average. We're not talking about the 50 day, only 47% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. This is becoming a very heavy, heavy boat anchor pulling down on the market. Uh, it's, real, it's really remarkable that seven to nine tech companies have been able to provide enough lift to kind of hold the market from really t topping or tipping over. Um, but let's watch this closely. If this weight continues to grow, more and more of those companies slipping below could be, could be a heavy lift. Now, notice that we had that downtrend here, and I would mentioned once before, well, a couple times before that we had crossed up and we had kind of held a little bit of a support level in there just momentarily and I thought there might be that opportunity that the big techs would finally start pulling these back to the upside but unfortunately the last few days we're moving back down here and we have failed this little level of price support in the chart so a bit of a concern there so we have this really stark um, um, imbalance of the haves and have-nots and the haves are are a very small group or the have-nots are a very large group um, kind of an interesting interesting thing going on here so watch that closely our t2101 yesterday did catch a little bit of pullback which i think could be to the benefit of the bulls because we did not see market breadth increasing on a selling wave. And if we were to see that market breadth really start to increase on that increase on that selling wave, that's where we could run into trouble. But that didn't occur yesterday. So that's one of those things where we kind of lean to that non-panic pullback at the moment. But I think we're really right there on that. We're on that tipping point and that uncertainty that's out there is starting to grow just a little bit. So watch that closely here in the market. I can't rule out the possibility that those bulls will run in and defend, but I certainly couldn't rule out the possibility that those bears finally catch an opening and drive the market lower and see that attack. So be a little bit careful. Caution flags are waving out there. Make sure you have a plan to protect yourself if we do happen to tip over here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, this is what we're kind of waiting on here today. First off, we're gonna have, we've got an ECB decision. Um, ECB is also talking about tapering and they have an inflationary problem that has hit a 10 year high over there and they're trying to grapple with how they're going to battle inflation in an era where we are so hopelessly addicted to money printing. Um, it'll be an interesting thing to see. Um, we'll get that decision um, later today or later this morning. And um, we also have our own little problem that we're gonna have to deal with, and that is the jobless claims. Jobless claims have been kind of problematic for us um, with that ugly number last Friday. And some, some weeks we kind of do a little bit better than expected. Some weeks we do uh, less than expected, and we've been able to ignore that for a while. But now as these pressures are starting to build, if we were to miss on this number today, uh, badly miss and see those jobless claims uh, ticking higher, that could be a real problem here uh, for the market. So watch that closely. Um, and then we've got that petroleum status number here later on this morning. That will be pretty critical here um, as to how IWM, um, if it can continue to hold that buoyancy because of uh, that energy sector um, holding it up. So watch that close. Now we do have a natural gas report. We've got a whole bunch of Fed speakers. One thing we'll have to pay attention to is if any of these Fed speakers start to talk about taper 
and moving a little bit more aggressively in that taper. That could be, um, uh, market could certainly react to that. And then we do have the Fed balance sheet later at the day, over eight and a quarter treasury debt. Nobody seems to worry about that anymore. So keep an eye on that. Remember tomorrow morning, kind of as you're planning forward, we've got the PPI um, number tomorrow. So uh, a little bit of an inflationary um, watch for tomorrow. Let's take a look at um, the earnings calendar. Now the earnings calendar today, we have our busiest day of the week with um, over 30 companies reporting or listed on the calendar with quite a few of those uh, being unconfirmed reports, uh, small cap unconfirmed. But let's take a look at some of these that might be notable for today. Um, David Busters will be reporting today. Notice that David Busters is working on a downtrend break here, trying to decide whether or not it's going to hold this area as support. That earnings report could be really important today. Um, if it can get a strong enough earnings report to move um, up off of there, that could be good. If it slips, you know, COVID's causing some problems again. If that were to slip, um, we could easily lose that support area of that upside trend. So watch that close. We're going to see um, some um, reports from Lake. Lake will be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. HOFT. We'll be reporting, oops, looks like that um, getting hit kind of hard on the head this morning, continuing its downtrend and maybe breaking some support levels in HOFT. We're going to hear from Love this morning. Um, they're going the opposite direction, um, moving to the upside. So as you can see, trying to break that downtrend. So if this can pop through that downtrend and hold up here, that's that nice tried and true pattern that I trade a lot and um, that's very, very product productive. As a matter of fact, you guys will soon see a video um, on that, so watch for that. Um, take a look, we're gonna hear from um, Cook. We're gonna also hear from ZS and we're going to hear from ZUMZ. Now, I didn't cover all of the notables this morning. If you want to um, see the full list of notables, click the link below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog and you can get that full list. So watch these reports carefully. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time time I post a video and you're probably going to want to be paying attention I've got a video coming out um, on that tried and true pattern and how um, I easily find them um, this is some cool stuff so um, you might want to pay attention to, uh, for that video to drop on YouTube here soon um, if um, you guys find this video to be worthy if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment it helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that I know it's a pain in the neck and and all but I I really appreciate it I do put an awful lot of time and effort into doing these and it's very much appreciated um, when you guys take the time to leave those comments and also thank you so much to everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link link below those folks that aren't members to hit and run candlesticks and right way options um, uh, thank you so much um, for supporting the channel that way I truly truly appreciate it let's take a look at a few stocks that might be of interest but I got to tell you guys there is some concern here in the market what I'm going to be doing this morning is pointing more to safety type plays let's take a look at uh, like XLRE Real estate um, surged yesterday. We saw a pretty substantial um, rotation yesterday into kind of some safety play. So take a look at the real estate sector. You can click on TC2000, just that one icon, and that can take you into some stocks that 
um, are holding up really well, looking pretty good if you're looking for some of that relative safety. Take a look at like XLP, the stocks encompassed in XLP. Nice hold here in trend, beautiful support. Big bullish reversal yesterday um, as we saw that surge into those consumer staples. And these are all the companies that we all know. Um, Hershey um, completely, well, not completely reversing that big ugly candle the day before, but trying to move up. Campbell Soup um, trying to break that downtrend in here showing some buying setting up. This is that tried and true, if that can continue um, in here. We saw stocks like Procter & Gamble reversing back to the upside. Um, MKC trying to come um, up off of that tried and true pattern right there, holding that support, showing that bullishness coming in. Even stocks like uh, GIS trying to come out of bottoms, um, KHC, coming up strongly out of a bottom yesterday. So we're seeing some of those consumer defensive stocks really starting to gain a little energy and they really surged yesterday. So you might wanna take a look at some of those. Another place that is kind of um, interesting is um, utilities. Take a look at XLU, the utility sector. Utility sector saw a substantial surge yesterday in buying. So once again, kind of click into that index and you can see stocks like um, AEE really surging, um, XEL surging, um, FEE um, surging. So, um, whoops, sorry. I must have the wrong ticker. Um, so kind of keep an eye on that. There's a lot of these stocks starting to show that bullishness or continuing to show bullishness and that little bit of safety um, in the market. You might also take a look at Kroger. Now Kroger has a little bit of a problem here because Kroger is going to report earnings on the 10th, but watch that. That's another one of those conservative um, consumer defensive sector stocks that have, has just been moving in a beautiful upside trend. Report on Friday could be problematic, but watch that closely. So there's a few stocks for you to consider uh, today, a few places that you might want to look for that relative safety. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And I will see you all right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day, everyone. I wish you all great success. Talk to you soon.